538 is a popular blog that's now part of the ESPN family uh, that was started by Nate Silver. Uh, the claim to fame of 538 is they correctly predicted um, all of the results by state for the 2008 presidential election. Uh, one of their claims to fame is also their data visualization. As you can see here, this is one of their signature type graphs. It's very clean, it's minimalist, and it also has great colors. You can see the contrast between the red and the gray there sticks out quite well. So what we're going to do is attempt to recreate this graph. Again, what I've done here is taken the liberty to get all the RGB values for each of the specific graph markers and colors. Uh, this is just to make our job easier here as we graph this. So let's get started. What we'll do is we'll come up to insert and we'll insert a line graph. A 2D line graph is fine in this case. So let's select that. That's going to bring up our blank canvas. As you can see, this is white compared to the background here, which is more gray. So let's go and change that. Right click and go to format chart area. Let's go to solid fill. And then we'll select the background color, which is this 237 all the way across here. So we'll go to more colors and we'll do 237, 237, and 237. All right. And you can see our background is now starting to mimic the 538 color scheme here. Let's go to the border color and select no line. This just makes it cleaner and adds some contrast to the between the background of the cells and the actual graph. So um, before we start graphing the data, you can see that this is a trended time series data. And obviously there's quite a bit of data here. Uh, it ranges from 2011 all the way up to 2015. Um, I took the liberty to also create some dummy data here. Now obviously this is not exactly the data that 538 used here to show the jobs gained um, from a year earlier based on seasonally adjusted numbers. Um, but I'm trying to get just the gist or, or uh, to mimic the graph so it comes out uh, looking similar to what 538 produced. So again, the data is not exactly the same. These are dummy numbers, but we're just trying to get the look and feel here. All right, so let's add some of this data. We're going to right click and go to select data. And what we'll do is we'll add the private jobs listing first. And we'll go all the way down to the bottom here. You can do this by holding down shift control and then hitting the down arrow key like I just did, or you can just highlight down with the mouse. When you're dealing with a decently sized data set like this, you may want to just use the shift control. And we're going to click OK. And then we'll do the exact same thing for the years here. Click OK, and then we'll click OK. Now our data is starting to take shape. You can see that the private data is, is pretty in line with what we're showing here for 538, but it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Let's get rid of this heading. We'll come back and add it later, and then we'll also the legend. First things first, let's format this background so it's not white and it matches the gray over here. So we'll right click, go to Format Plot Area go to the solid fill and then it will automatically give us this gray because we've used it recently. Let's click close from there. Alright, so we've got our background formatted and we've got everything good to go as far as the background is concerned. Let's clean up these axes a little bit. So let's start with the vertical axis here. So let's right click and go to format axis. You'll see from the 538 axis here on the, the right hand side they do uh, increments of one here in the major unit. You can see that ours is a half right here. So let's do increment of one. And that will give us the same scale that they're using over here. Let's uh, go to line color over here while we're in this menu. Because as you can see from 538, they don't have a um, vertical axis line here. So let's do no line. Let's click OK. All right, you can see we're starting to get a little bit uh, closer to what 538 is showing here. Alright, so as you can see, our axis over here, our horizontal axis, is formatted in months rather than years. So let's change that. We can go to right click, then go to format axis, and then we'll come over here and we'll change our fixed major unit to years, and we want to do one year. So that'll give us the increments from 2000, 
uh, 11 all the way up to 2015 in one year increments. What we also want to do is give the position for it to be on the tick marks. That means that our specific uh, data will line up with the actual years. Let's click close here and then you'll see we're starting to get a little bit more um, similar formatting on the axis here to what 538 is showing. While we're on the horizontal axis let's add the minor grid lines here. So what that's going to do is give us our years up and down um, grid lines here. So similar to what 538 is showing over here. Let's format these grid lines while we're at it and change the color. So let's go to format grid lines by right clicking and we'll go to line color solid line and as you can see by the RGB values here the axis color is this 213 all the way across so we'll go to more recent colors and we'll plug in the 213 over here so now we have our more transparent solid line so that changes the color of the grid lines what it did do also is change this vertical axis over here to be gray again so we need to change that and remove the line here so we'll go to line color no line and then click close so we're back to where we started so I think we're ready to add our next data set let's right click go to select data and then we'll go to add and we'll add in the total so the series name will be total and then we'll go and do our shift control down arrow key to bring in all of the total values let's also select the years or the uh, monthly data here and then click OK and as you can see we're starting to get some similarities over here to the 538 data let's change these colors here so the red over here represents the total and it is actually red on the 538 graph here but it's not quite the same red so let's change that to a solid line and let's more colors and what we'll do is we'll change this to the red which is 252 0 for the green and 7 for the red nice we're starting to get a little bit closer now we got to change this private series to be this gray over here which is 190 all the way across so let's right click and go to format data series go to line color solid line and then we'll choose more colors and plug in the RGB values of 190 all the way across click OK and as you can see we're getting real close to 538 style let's just clean up these axes a little bit so let's bold this let's bold the year as well as you can see the formatting of this axis is not quite the same style we're not going to get it exact but let's just get it so we can get the years showing instead of just the months let's go to number and let's go to custom and what we can do here is change this to just to show the year the y y y y y is going to show just the year so there you go we've got just the year showing so what we're going to do next is add in the headings let's bring this down just to make some room at the top I'm going to go to um, layout add in the chart title I'm going to do it above the chart and I'm just going to move this over to the left just to be uh, more indicative of the 538 graph and this chart title is jobs gained from a year earlier and this one also has a subheading of seasonally adjusted so let's left justify this header while we're at it we'll go to home and then we'll click left justify you can see that it's starting to come together here this subtitle needs to be a little bit smaller so we'll bring that down to let's say 12 and we'll also unbold that just to make it similar to what 538 is showing here okay good we're getting a little bit closer here the one thing that's the signature so to speak for 538 is their gray bar down at the bottom of each of their graphs 
let's go ahead and add that in. So what we'll do is we'll come up to insert and we'll add a shape, a rectangle. And what I like to do is come to the bottom of the graph here and just try and line it up the best that I can with the ends here of the graph on the left and the right side. So once we've got that, we'll right click and go to format shape. We'll start with a fill and as you can see this banner over here the RGB values are 73, 75, and 77. So it gives us that nice 538 gray. We don't want a line color on it, so we're going to select uh, no line under the line color menu, and I'm going to click close. Cool. We're getting there now. So let's add this source label in here. I'm not going to add the 538 logo in here, but you can add your own logo if you'd like to. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to edit text. And I'm going to go and write justified over here, and I'm going to make sure my caps lock is on, and I'm going to type in source, just like that. I can highlight it a little bit, so I can bold it, and then let's make that font a little bit smaller, um, to about 10. It's going to give us that source. So what we've done here is we've done our best to imitate a uh, graph from 538 based on jobs data from the period of 2011 to 2015. So this is a nice clean way of displaying data. Um, it's just one of the several types of graphs that you'll find on the 538 website uh, and they are one of the best in my opinion as far as data visualization is concerned.